Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today I'm going to teach you how to make these really cute crochet fidget balls. Um, they're fun to squeeze and play with and throw. These make excellent gifts for kids or anything that you want to do with them. Just great fun, easy to make. Okay, so let's get into our materials. So the size of these balls is definitely going to be um, down to what size hook and what size yarn you use. If you want ones the size that I've made, I'm using a five millimeter hook and I'm using weight for yarn of any color that you would like. But if you want to make it a lot smaller, then you can use a smaller um, hook size and a smaller yarn. You will also need a darning needle, a pair of scissors, and you're going to need some stuffing because we're going to stuff these balls. Okay, so to get started, you're simply going to make a slip knot and you're going to take your five millimeter hook and you're going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, and 20, okay? Then you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So not this chain right here, but in the next one, you're going to put a single crochet if you're not familiar with any of these stitches, please look in the description box and you will find a beginner video, okay? And you're gonna put single crochets in each stitch all the way down. So by the end of this row, you should have 19 because we skipped that first chain, okay? So we're just gonna single crochet all the way down. Then after you finish single crocheting all the way down, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And then when you turn your work, you're gonna be working into this first stitch right here, but you're gonna be working in the back loop only. So go into this first back loop. So if you turn it on its side, if you're looking at it like this, um, from the side, it would be hard to see. But if you look at the very top, you'll see the V stitches going all the way down. And you wanna work into the back of that V stitch. So just take your hook, go into the back loop, pull up and do a single crochet. And then do that in the next stitch and do that all the way down. And this is what's gonna create the ridges for your little fidget ball. And see, as you can see, it's making a raise right here. So back into the back loop, doing a single crochet all the way down. After you do that all the way down, you're going to make a chain one and you're gonna turn your work again and you're going to repeat the same thing. Working into the back loop only, you're going to make a single crochet and you're gonna do that all the way down. So what you need is you need a total of five rows of this. So this would be our third. So after you finish this third row, you need two more rows doing exactly like this, the single crochet and the back loop only. So once you get done with that, I'll meet you back up in just a minute. Okay, so I finished my five rows and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn this up and I'm gonna slip stitch this together. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this, the hook and that's already still on the loop and I'm gonna go right through the top right here and then I'm gonna line it up with the other side and then I'm just gonna pull through. And then I'm gonna do that all the way down. Now you don't have clear stitches on the top of these um, because they're just, it's the way it ended, but that's three. And then I'm going to do four and then five. So you should have five across the top Just like that and that piece might come undone there you might need to pull it tight okay and what I want you to do is leave a little bit of an end here because we might need that to sew with so just cut that off right there and then chain one and pull through just like that okay and so now you've got this completed. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to turn this inside out so you can't see that join there and now you can see you can't really see the join. And now we're going to sew up this one little piece um, right here that we needed to sew. Okay, so we have two pieces here. We wanna keep the one that we kept along 
to work together, but this other one we're going to work in. So I'm gonna put this onto my darning needle. And I'm going to work it on the inside of this now, the part where, um, where we sewed it together. So you can't see it on the other side. So just pull through and then you're gonna work it through your three times. So just go once, twice. I'm gonna go right through where we joined three times. And then you can cut off. Okay, and like I said, just leave this piece on and then turn it right back out again, okay? So what you need is three of these. So I want you to do exactly what we just did, did two more times. But on one of those, I want you to leave it open. So if you do your other color, the next one, close it up like we, I just showed you. And then when you do the next one, um, leave it just flat and open. And I'll show you how to put these together. Okay, so real easy. And I'll see you back in just a minute. Okay, so we finished our three little... Um, things that we need here to make our little ball. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place them together now. So I'm gonna put this white inside of the blue. Now you can put them any way that you'd like, but this is the way that you put it together. The white goes inside of the blue this way. And then I'm gonna put this yellow going under this one. And then this is gonna go over the blue and then under the white again. Okay, just like that. And then it's going to meet right here at this side. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna make sure it's straight around, and then we're gonna sew these two ends together, okay? So I'm gonna take my darning needle. I'm gonna place the long piece that I left on it. And then I'm just simply gonna sew this end together with a whip stitch. So I'm just going back and forth. Right along the edge here. Okay, just like that. And then I've got all these pieces here and I've left those in case when we stuff it, we need to sew some sides together so we can't see any stuffing. So I'm gonna leave this piece on and then I'm gonna take some of my stuffing and I'm gonna go right in the middle of this little ball here, right in the middle there, and I'm gonna put some stuffing. Now you don't wanna overstuff these, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of stuffing to start with. And just right here in the middle, I'm gonna put my stuffing. And then you might need to straighten out your pieces a little bit. And so I'm gonna put just a little bit more in here. And the more you stuff it, the more your pieces will try to come out. So that's why I said don't try to overstuff it. And then once you do put the stuffing in there, you can move your pieces around to where that they lay correctly. Sometimes you won't need to do any sewing at all, depending upon what yarn and stuff that you use. But as you can see, we've got it stuffed, but there's just that one little piece here that's showing. So I'm gonna take this piece right here and I'm gonna show you how to sew that together. So I'm just gonna put it right onto my darning needle. I'm gonna go right over here to the edge. And I'm just gonna go right like this, going in one side and out the other to pull this together, just like that, okay? Just take a couple stitches. And as you can see, it pulled that right together. And so then I can just take this and go right on the inside of my ball once. And then I think twice will be enough. I'm gonna come out where the yellow is and then I can cut off. And then you're gonna do the same thing with all these other pieces. You're just gonna work them right back into the ball, okay? So isn't that so cool and so neat? Really easy, lots of fun to make. 
Um, and if you need any help, don't hesitate to ask. You can ask me in the comments section below, of course, here on YouTube, and I'll try to reach everyone. Um, but also, if you're not comfortable with that, I have a Gmail, I have a Facebook, an Instagram, and a TikTok. You can find me all there too, guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the notify me bell below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And then you can get notifications of my future videos. And please like and share. That helps more than anything. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.